Hey guys, before we get started on the topic of today's video, I did want to mention that I used the LA Girl Air Palette from their Halloween collection that just released at CVS, and I think it might be at Ulta too. Not sure about that one, but I bought mine at CVS, and um, I had shown this in a previous video, and I was not able to use it before because I was having a dermatitis issue with my eyes and uh, I was just dying to dive into this so this is what I have in my eyes today just wanted to mention that now the topic of today's video is beauty news past and present I don't think there's going to be any issues with the first thing I'm going to talk about but there could be some conflict um, or issues with the second thing I'm going to talk about. I had to shut the camera off and think about what I was going to say here. I have to tread very carefully. I am a YouTube partner, okay? And what that means is I get paid for making these videos. And um, so I don't want to say anything that's going to violate like any rules that they have. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what is okay and what is not okay, but I'm just going to try to talk about this anyway and see how it goes. And if if YouTube doesn't like it, um, it will probably be flagged right away by them and um, they'll let me know that it's not okay to post this video. So I don't know. Um, I'm just going to talk about, I don't really see why this would be a problem, but I have heard other creators say that when they tried to talk about this subject that I'm going to talk about, um, that there were some issues, but we'll see how it goes, okay? The first subject should be no problem. The first thing I want to talk about is Sinful Colors, um, the nail polish brand. You may have noticed that they've been gone from uh, stores that you shop at. I used to buy Sinful Colors at Walmart, Target, Walgreens. They're gone. Um, I painted my nails with Sinful Colors 852 Go Go Girl yesterday. And I remembered how much I love this brand. It's a one and done nail polish brand and that's almost impossible to find uh, where you just do one coat and you're all done. Um, and what I like about that is because there's only one coat on my nails, when I go to remove it, it's going to come off really easy. And then I'll just be able to, you know, repaint my nails without struggling to remove what was on there before. Cause I don't even use a base coat or a top coat uh, with this because it doesn't need it. It's fully opaque with one coat. So, I thought, you know, this is so good, maybe I should get it in some other colors. And that's when I started looking at websites and realized that it's not at Walmart or Target or Walgreens anymore. Um, I was able to find it on the Dollar General website, which kind of surprised me because I started doing a little more digging and found out that Sinful Colors is owned by Revlon. I did not know that. On June 16th, 2022, Revlon filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Didn't know that either. And in May 2023, Revlon emerged from bankruptcy with new owners, a reduced debt, and a new board. So you may have seen quite a few changes in Revlon as a company in the last year or so and that reflects the new ownership and the new direction that they're trying to take Revlon. So I didn't know any of this and I thought that that was quite interesting from you know a business perspective. So the reason why I'm telling you all this is the only place I was able to find this on the internet to buy other than like Amazon, eBay, that type of thing was um, Dollar General. So this is a one and done coat brand and I have a feeling, I don't 
No, because I did try to find out, but I wasn't able to find out. But I have a feeling that Revlon has decided that they don't want sinful colors in their portfolio because if I can only find it at Dollar General, and it was only one bottle of each shade on the shelf at the Dollar Generals that I looked at their inventory of, um, so yeah, that makes me think that they're not restocking it. And when it's gone, it's gone. And if you look at the resellers prices, they're quite high. So if you want it, grab it now, because I don't think it's going to be around much longer, which is too bad because it's an excellent product always has been. And I wish I had found this out sooner when there were more options because some colors just aren't even in stock anymore. Okay, so there's that. That's the first piece of news. And the second piece of news I want to talk about is the one that YouTube might not want me talking about. I don't know. And that is TikTok. Okay, the House of Representatives passed a bill on March the 13th to ban TikTok unless it sells its app. Okay, and I think everybody knows that. That's not new news. But they have recently gone into the courts and said that if the United States bans TikTok from the United States, because they don't want to sell their app, um, and they have said that if we force them to do that, they, they will not sell it. They've said that repeatedly. Um, the United States wants them to sell their app to an American person or a company or brand, whatever. And that's so that they can regulate it. Um, and the China doesn't want to do that because they feel as by doing that, that they would be infringing upon Americans rights to free speech. And See, right now, China and the company ByteDance, who owns TikTok, they're regulating everything and they're deciding what goes on there and what doesn't. And the United States wants them to sell it so that they can regulate it and decide what goes on there and what doesn't. I think it's very interesting to note that um, Donald Trump, President Former President Donald Trump has said in his campaigns that if he is the next president, he will stop this. He will not allow TikTok to be banned. And what does that say about him as a candidate? Um, because the courts right now, it, this was more or less pushed as a Democrat agenda to get TikTok banned and under new ownership so that it could be regulated what was put on there. So I'm not, I'm not going to get into a political discussion about this. I'm just telling you what the facts are. Okay. And, um, I was curious to see what beauty brands would be hurt the most by this happening if TikTok was absolved and there was no more TikTok. Um, so I made a list of the top 10 beauty brands that are on TikTok. Like the brands that you see the most when you go to that app. And this, these are the top 10 beauty brands on TikTok. Let's start with number 10, The Ordinary. Um, I miss The Ordinary's makeup line. I used to love their makeup, and I felt so bad when they switched over to um, just skincare. Number nine is Beauty Pie. Never heard of that. Don't even know what it is. Number eight is Beauty Bay. I have bought from them, and I like uh, their house brand. is very good. The only reason why... I don't order from them still is it's not based in the United States. So the shipping is a little bit higher. Number seven is Charlotte Tilbury. Number six is Nivea. Nivea is a skincare brand, as you probably all know. 
Number five is e.l.f. Cosmetics. You all know how much I love e.l.f., so I would hate to see their business hurt. Number four is Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie's popping up everywhere now. I'm starting to see that brand in stores that I never saw it in before. So I think there might be like a resurgence of that because it kind of went out of favor for a while. Number three is Cerave skincare brand. Number two is Rode, which is Hailey Bieber's brand. Um, number one is Refi Beauty. I honestly am not familiar with that brand at all, but that is the number one brand on number one beauty brand on TikTok if you look at the stats right now. So I find all this extremely interesting. They're still going back and forth in the courts trying to um, prevent this from happening, but it's all going to it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out because right now there is still time for TikTok to take this to the Supreme Court. Um, the, but the deadline is looming. The deadline is January 19th, 2025. So if something doesn't happen between now and then to change that, TikTok will be no more because the owners of TikTok are not going to back down. They are not going to sell this app to an American company or person. They don't want to. And I can't say that I blame them. I mean, it's their company. They should be able to do what they want with it. They shouldn't be forced to sell their company if they don't want to. So I am hoping that if this goes to the Supreme Court, which it looks like it probably will, I'm hoping that the powers that be on the Supreme Court will stop this foolishness. And that's what it is to me is foolishness. Um, and allow ByteDance to keep their company and continue on. Now, um, I more or less work for Google. So it's strange that I should take this stance because if TikTok goes away, that means that a lot of the people that used to um, watch on TikTok will probably come back over to YouTube and watch videos over here, which means that my audience could grow. I do have a TikTok account, but I almost never post over there because it's a lot of work to make these YouTube videos. I mean, more than you can possibly imagine. And I feel like I just can't be all things to all people. So I focus my energy over here on YouTube where I'm already a partner because to get partnership over on TikTok, it, you have to have the stats have to be big. And um, <clears throat> I just don't have the energy to be doing that all the time too, you know? So it should be very interesting to see how this all plays out. And I hope this video gets posted because I think it's a very timely and interesting topic. And I want to know all your opinions about it down below. Put, let me know what your comments are and um, give this video a thumbs up if you want me to talk about things that are like current events that are related to the beauty world. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.